Hey guys, KOD here. Now I wanted us to continue from where we left off the other time. We had gone ahead to build that menu bar, Joomla transaction. We had our cards lined up and we had built this drop down section where you can actually select items from and you can link all these. And so pretty much we're trying to recreate this. So we have done this section and we're gonna move on to do these two sections as well. Okay, but before we do that, you might have noticed something that Bootstrap is built mobile first, and so it should be able to scale on mobile devices easily. So when you look at the menu bar, it easily goes into the menu view, and then you can have the drop down and everything, and it works very well. But our card section looks a little bit messed up. It doesn't break when you're in smaller screens like all the other elements do to fit inside correctly. So what's going on with our card? It's supposed to be responsive. So let's go back into the code and see what's actually happening. Okay, there we are. So there are two things at play here. One, this isn't so important, but this comes with a style um, with a width of 20 REMs. You probably might want to keep it there so that it just doesn't keep scaling in very big screens. But I'm going to take it out just to give you an example. So if I take that out of our code, I save it. You realize that not a lot, lot has changed on the screen, but when I go into mobile view, it's no more exceeding the boundaries. It's still trying to fit inside. It's just squishing everything into the card. And it gets to a point where the button kind of fit into the card and so that goes outside the element. So why is this happening? If you remember earlier on, I talked about using columns. And so pretty much what we're saying is we want this element to occupy four columns on the page, right? So this section, the first card occupies four, the second card occupies four, and the third card occupies four. But then we didn't specify if we wanted it to occupy four columns on small screens or large screens or medium-sized screens. And so that's where this problem is coming from. But before I go ahead, let me go ahead and remove these things so that it doesn't confuse you. Remember, I just put these things in place so that I can show some color differences. So they're actually not that important. So I'm just going to remove them. We got okay so now these are the main classes we're dealing with right and so let's go ahead and specify which screen sizes we prefer so we can say that on medium sized screens and upwards we want it to occupy four columns and to do that you just put MD in the middle so you have on medium sized screens occupy four columns that's what all of this means so call MD4 same way you can do call SM4 this means on small screens occupy four columns or I can do XS4, which means on extra small screens. So I'm going to go with medium. And I'll say medium, gain, occupy four. On medium screens and up, occupy four. So let's see. Now, as you can see, the card actually breaks when I get into a mobile view. It now falls um, on top of uh, each other, and so you don't have that situation again. And then when I come back to medium sized screens, it expands and it fills the space perfectly. Awesome, that's good. If we went ahead and we said, and we said maybe for small screens, let's say for the last one, occupy four, let's see what that would look like. You can see that in small screens it's actually occupying four and so it looks really small over here. If I change that to and in the same way I could have done on small screens occupy twelve, which means it's occupying the entire section. Now it fails the entire section. But it goes without saying if you say it should occupy four in medium screens on a small screen it will just break and occupy three and occupy twelve, sorry. So that fixes the problem for us and it looks really neat now. All right, I'm gonna go back into the main view where we have uh, this. Okay, so now let's go ahead and try to build a section similar to this. So pretty straightforward, let me find the end. This is where our container ends. I believe this is where our cards end. Let's see, card. If this is where our container ends, then I can actually start that section over here. I don't know what name to give it. I'll just call it, uh, let's see. I'll call it saving the seashell section. So that we know where we are. Okay. So I'm going to start with the, as usual, a basic dev tag. 
Okay, so that will be for this rectangle over here. So both the saving seashell section and this image will go inside that div tag. But then I want to separate them. So I'll go ahead and create two div tags inside the first div tag I created. Right. And then this will be the left section and this will be the right section. Good. Let's see how it looks like now. Awesome. So there's our left section, our right section. Right now they are all centered. We want one to go to the left and we want the other to go to the right. But how many columns do we want them to occupy? Since the entire page is 12 columns, I think it would be fair to split it 6-6 six, six because I think the width for this is actually the same as this. So let's go ahead and split it 6-6. Six, six. So I'm going to give this a class of column. I'll say on medium screens, occupy six columns. And I'm going to copy that and do the same for this. Awesome. Now, as you've realized, this has actually moved to the left to occupy six columns. But you might be wondering, why don't we have the right section on this side? Well, that's because we haven't defined the class of row, which is also very important. If you remember, when we're doing the, um, the cards, we added this, this class of row. And what row basically does is to put the div classes inside the parent div in rows. And so if I go here and I add a class of row, let's see what happens. Perfect. We have the left on this section and we have the right on this section. Very simple and straightforward. Okay, brilliant. What do we have to do next? Let's see. Okay, let's insert the images um, into this. So we can say, we can call this the text section and we can call this the image section, all right? So I'm going to go to the, in my, the image section over here, my custom CSS, and I'm going to insert an image. So I'm just copy this from the driven trend section, insert that over here, and uh, let's see if I have that image. That's what image is that? Okay, let's see if I have it some more here. Nope, that's not it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a long name. Let's call it SS for saving seashells. Right. Bad name in, but we'll get through it. Okay, there we go. So we'll change up oh, wrong section. Okay. To SS. Good. Let's see how we're doing. Okay, that's our image over there. As you can see, the problem here is uh, we need to give this some height so that you can actually see that uh, image on that side. All right, we'll do that soon. so that I'm trying to write as little CSS as possible, but I'm trying to keep this video short, so give me some of the things that are repetitive. Okay, there we go. That's 40. That's the image section over there. Maybe let's do 35. Let's say no repeat. So the background doesn't repeat itself. Okay, brilliant. So we have that section in place and we have to do the left section. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this image. Uh, remove this text, I mean. Sorry. Okay, good. Now let's get some text into the left section. Let's start with this. Here. 
I'm going to give that a class of lead so that it stands out a little bit more and then this is a date maybe I'll just keep it as a paragraph text too now obviously there's so many ways to write this code in a much shorter and clearer way but this is just a demonstration so I won't stress it so yes we have our text over here um, just like that and then obviously you can include this icon and the magazine over here if you want and there's also a button let's just go in and add that or just in the interest of time let me go ahead and copy one of these buttons from our cart and I'll bring it down here say and I'll call this read all right let's see there we go you have your read button um, on that end let me apply some pardon to this or imagine to bring it down let's try pardon first so pardon top three let's see if that brings down our text a little bit just a touch maybe a margin will do hmm. that didn't work I'll go back to using the uh, bringing the pattern in for the for the first paragraph element instead let's see if that makes it better not so much I'm not sure what's going on I probably would have to check from the console to make sure but other than that I can add some custom pattern to bring the text down a bit okay so we have it in the middle so there we have it the section we have this section side by side side by side